Hello again, everyone. This is Tim Buell for GottaBeMobile.com, and I'm back today with another Mac tutorial video, although it does pertain to iOS as well, how to collaborate in Pages in Mac OS Sierra. Pages is Apple's word processing program, and it's something I use pretty frequently to document things throughout the day. And now with the new beta features for collaboration, you can add friends and family members to a document and share live collaboration with each other. To get this started, you're gonna to wanna to click the collaborate icon on the toolbar. And from there, you'll be able to add people using mail, messages, Finder, even Twitter or Facebook and other options. From there, go ahead and choose your friend or family member that you would like to add to the document and go ahead and send that invitation off. In our case, I'm going to be sending it to an iPhone, which is also running Pages for iOS. And we'll also now be able to do the live collaboration with the new version of Pages for iOS 10. When you receive the invitation, you'll be prompted on whatever device you're working on to open it and add it to your current iCloud drive. Just like we did when we sent it off from the original device, it does need to be stored live on a server somewhere so that when you both are working on it, it will share in live collaboration with each other. Now the goal with Pages is sort of similar to how Google Docs works, where that is all done on a website. You can now do the same sort of thing while using the Pages application from your device. Now iCloud.com is definitely a good resource if you are not able to use one of these devices with Pages pre-installed and you can just go to the website and work. The advantage here, however, is if you are on your MacBook mobile or you're using your iPhone or iPad with Pages, you're able to actually use all of the full tool functionality within those applications and still participate in the live collaboration as long as you do have an internet connection with Wi-Fi or a mobile hotspot. You'll be able to see when you or your friend are working on the document representing their name as well as a different color cursor. Usually the one you're using is yellow and will appear as blue on the other person's screen. You should also see pretty frequent live updates as long as you are both typing. You may not see in the moment text being delivered, but usually line by line, it's going to update live for you. So again, this is an excellent resource, especially for people that use Pages for Business and are frequently emailing documents and making revisions and resaving and sending. Again, this is a way to actually get all those things done at the same time. This is definitely a very welcome feature to Pages, and it's one that I see a lot of users actually benefiting greatly from with the live collaboration, and I hope you found this helpful. Take care.